Are you looking for a free open source alternative to Notion? Let's discover a fine, a free self-hosted workspace for docs, whiteboards, and databases. While highly inspired by Notion, including its main features such as its smart page editor, including components and tables, it also comes with very good fresh ideas such as the edgeless mode. To start using a fine, you can use their cloud version with the pro tier starting at 6.75 dollars per month. If you want to self-deploy it, you can follow their installation guide on their documentation, or you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice. We handle the installation, backups, updates, and ongoing maintenance for you. To start using a fine on our platform, head to ls.io and log in. Then deploy my first service, search for a fine, and click on select. From there, you can choose between different cloud providers, regions, and service plans based on your needs. Once you're good, click on Next. From there, you can adjust more advanced settings and choose the level of support you want. The first one is included by default. And once you are ready, hit the Create Service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email telling you that your new instance of Affine is ready. Follow the click here to get the password link. You arrive on Elestio Administration Dashboard Panel for your Affine instance. Click on Display Web UI Credentials and it will be the public access to it. Let's open it. And we arrive on Affine, but the issue we have is you have this warning here telling you that you are using it in local mode, which means it won't save it on the cloud, but only on your local storage. To save it inside your instance, you need to log in. To find your login credentials, go back to the administration dashboard, display admin UI, you have your user and password, copy it to your clipboard and access the admin link. We arrive on this nice login screen, type your email and paste your password, then log in. Once logged in, because we opened the admin link, we arrive on the account. And from there, we can invite other users. Let's do it to later demonstrate how it works when you have multiple users. Add user, let's say John Doe. John Doe at yopmail.com. I won't add a password, so the user will be able just to use its email and a magic link to connect. And then you have different settings if you want the user to be admin and what access they have. Okay, let's create it for now, forget it, and later we will use it. While we are in the settings, let me show you the AI section. And unfortunately, the AI is not currently supported in the self-hosted, but they are announcing it will be, and I guess they will do it. It's been a while I wanted to do a video about a fine, but before they were in alpha and it had very few features. Now it's in beta and they added tons of features that I will be able to show to you. So I'm confident that in the future, AI will also be available. What made me think it is true is if you go to the settings and AI, you can see that you have the different settings to enable it. So it's just a matter of time before it arrives on the self-hosted version. With that being said, even without AI, it's a wonderful product. Let's explore it. Go back to a fine. We are now connected. You can see my username here, but we are still on the local storage one. So to be able to have it stored on, the, on our instance, we need to create a cloud workspace. Let's do it. Let's name it Elestio. We want it to be a self-hosted cloud and create. We don't have any more the warning that we are in local. Instead, we have this nice cloud. Every time you create a new workspace, it will create you a basic getting started guide, which we will follow to discover the nice features of a fine. Welcome to a fine. You can start with a normal page, which is what we have with richly formatted text, markdown support, links, and a lot of other blocks. Click anywhere to start typing. Okay, so here we can type. Click to edit this line. Okay, we, we did it. We can type, hello. And then we can select anything and we have this nice edition bar. Okay, so we did it. Oh, they also say we can reorder it. So it's 
very like uh, the Notion interface. We can put it back here. If we want to add more blocks, we can use slash. And we have those nice components. Let's say we want a title, title one. Then we want, let's say, a quote. This is the description of title one. And then if we want to add text, hello, I'm text again. Okay, we discovered uh, this one. Then you can use alt to mention either people's documents or create new things. Okay, wonderful. I will mention myself. As for now, it's only me. Okay, they have a guide on how to use folders and tags. So let's see it. Okay, it's a nice guide. So here on the top of our document, if we click on the information tags, we can say getting started. And we are creating different tags we can use. Okay. If it's page or edgeless, we will see it right after and the different settings. If it's in uh, light or dark mode, but it's for the edgeless one. Okay, perfect. And then you can organize things with some folders. One is created by default, but you can create yours. My folder, drag and drop things, and it's UI and user experience. Let's go back to the getting started document. We have done that. Then you also have the journals which is a lovely feature because what it allows you to do is to use your different documents and things in a time-based manner. Basically, you associate, you have a page per, um, per day. You have the rich text edition. Okay, I want to do, and let's say X, Y, Z, but instead, because it's the rich text edition, you can add um, a to-do list, X, Y, Z. And if you've done them during the day, you check it. But also because you can use the art, you can say, I want to finish the getting started guide, which is one of the page of it, which make it powerful. And because you can navigate between days, you can schedule what you will do in the future. On the top left, you see, you can also switch to edgeless, but before we discover it, let's go back to the getting started and finish the guide. So we've discovered the journals feature. Nested lists can be toggled. Okay, so makes sense. Perfect. And click plus in left navigation for new docs. What it is, is on the left we've seen we can create new folders, but you also have the same, this button here to add a new page that you can then organize wherever you want. You can organize by folders, but also by collections, allowing you to create different collections to organize things. So it's another way to do than with folders. And you also have the tags, which gives you three different ways to organize your different documents. Pretty handy. Let's go back to our getting started guide. We have done a new document and then like in Notion, you have data blocks with tables, Kanban view that you can also see in a table view. If you are familiar with Notion, nothing should surprise you, but know that they handle most of the different things you can do. And you also have more advanced blocks, for example, to solve equation, but I don't think it's really been for this video. So let's skip it. And before we discover the edgeless mode, let's try to see how it behaves when working in team. So let's log in with the other account. If I go in incognito mode, I go to your mail. I've sent it to John Doe. Let's log in. Okay. looks like I'm not the only one using it. I want to invite the user to the workspace. Go to members, invite members. I can create an invite link. I will generate it. Copy in my incognito browser. I can try the direct link to join the workspace, but now I will need to log in. John do at jobmail.com. Continue with email. I should have received a verification code. Let's check. 
here it is we can copy it paste it and log in now i need to request to join okay i need to check on the main account if it's okay let's check on the left i have a notification has requested to join lsto approve and now if i reload with the other account i have successful access to it let's go to the same uh, document getting started and what is nice if if we are two working on the same document let's say i hover this section here i will put them side by side it will be easier go back here scroll and we can see each other what the others are doing allowing the best collaboration possible we can add comments and talk with each other all right now let's discover this lovely feature they made which is a document is a classic document in page mode as you are used to but they also made this edgeless canvas it opens your document in a wireframe board so you have your main page which is here but it's only this part of the document and what it does is it's like it's adding a third dimension to give extra detail extra comments to your document for example if you want to illustrate a specific section you can add more details more visual information to understand the flow of how it works ideal for example if you are familiar with mind mapping or for project management when you want to add extra details about tasks you could do it easily on the bottom you have this bar allowing you to manipulate your document nicely with some notes allowing you to add content you also have different pen to draw directly inside the document some shapes and other components such as mind map and media and edgeless text if you enjoy a fine the web version you also have an app available on desktop you can download it from their website unfortunately they don't have mobile apps yet but i'm sure it will come very soon and for now you can use their web version on your mobile and still for the web version they also offer a chrome extension named a fine web clipper allowing you to save things in a fine is in one click so if you're browsing something you like on internet you can select it and with the extension save it to a fine as always i recommend you to check their documentation in light or in dark mode like the platform by the way and to discover things that i didn't present in this video that you could like and motivate you to dive deeper into a fine thank you for watching we hope you enjoyed discovering a fine with us please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews if you want to continue your open source journey watch this video available here